Telling Tales with Misery. A E I O U. Welcome to Telling Tales with Misery. Anywho, you may think telling tales is all in the story, but nay. It's all in the performance. As you can probably tell, I am a master performer. Lesson number one. Remain poised, no matter what... <coughs> <coughs> ...happens. Which brings me to lesson number two. Uh-oh. <coughs> <coughs> the best of a bad situation and have fun. Okay. Um, lesson number three. Always tailor your performance to fit your audience or it may go over their heads. Hmm. My work here is done. Let's take 15 people. was aghast. Will she ever find her real father? And why did he leave her to be raised by wolves? And what's more, who was this hairy man standing here claiming to be her half-man, half-wolf, half-brother? <laughs> Portia threw her iced tea in the imposter's no-good yet handsome face. You go, girl! Show that lying cat a thing or two! Oh. Ah. Ooh. Please keep it down, Skull Boy, so we do not miss the best part. You've been listening to this radio soap for months, yet you still don't know who the father of Portia's baby is? Despite the iced tea dripping from his face, Proctor revealed the results of his DNA test. His true identity is... <coughs> and we'll find out right after this message from our sponsor. Do you suffer from soap scum and rust stains? No. Oh. Ah, uh, soap operas are so melodramatic and so far-fetched and so predictable. Please give us one example of this far-fetched claim, Skullboy. Well, there's always a character whose entire life is one disaster after another. Oops. An energetic extrovert. That's a really good point. A refined, educated gentleman. And a character who's constantly fearful. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, and a charming love interest. You forgot the charming love interest. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like I said, predictable. <clears throat> well, I have a magic routine to practice. Uh, anyone care to assist? Oh, 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 me, me, me! I can't sit through another commercial! <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do with that, Doom? I am Skullboy the Magnificent! And I haven't lost an assistant yet. Okay. Have you ever had any assistants? This won't hurt a bit. <laughs> Fun. Oh, wow! How'd you do that, Skullboy? A magician never reveals his secrets. I will now put you back together. Uh, this is where you hand me my magic wand? I must find my wand. Magic is all in the flourish. No rush. I'll just practice my knitting. Okay. Nope, not that. Why did I keep this? <laughs> Oh, there that is. It was always... Aha! Found it! Oh. Oh. Skullboy, are you okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh! Oh! Ow! Skullboy! Oh, are you all right? <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Ouch! Skullboy! How about now? <laughs> Good thinking, Doom. We wouldn't want Skullboy to hit his head. Portia was trapped. She had no idea what to do next. She's not the only one. <laughs> Portia ran out of the room screaming. Hey, guys. What you listening to? Nice work on the new sound system, guys. This sound is really surrounded. Thanks, Ruby. But we didn't install a sound system. <laughs> a vacation? Excellent idea, Doom. I vote for Bora Bora. <laughs> <laughs> Skullboy has been hit on the head by falling debris not once, not twice, but three times, then knocked out cold, mm -hmm. and Iris has been sawed in half and is locked in the two boxes. We have to do something. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Nice work on the smelling salts, Misery. Thanks. Skullboy, how are you? Who am I? What a relief. You're back to your old self, Skullboy. You've been asking that question for years. Oh, that is such good news. <laughs> When's lunch? Uh, who are you? And what's that girl doing in that box without her feet? Knit one, carry the yarn. Skullboy, it's me. Ruby. Don't you remember me? Hi, Ruby. And who's Skullboy? <gasps> I will now diagnose Skullboy's condition, as I am well versed in the medical sciences. I once played a doctor in a play, you know. You're right. I wasn't a doctor so much as a male nurse. And it wasn't really a play, more of a friendly reading in my living room. Ouch! Eat! Ow! Please stop. Uh. What is it, Poe? Just as I thought. Skullboy has amnesia. <gasps> amnesia, huh? If only I could remember what that means. It means you're having trouble remembering things, thanks to that bump on your noggin. Let me try. Hello! <laughs> Anything now? <coughs> no, but you all seem like a nice group of people. Except for the water. Ahem. Remember me? Nope. Oh, no. Iris is still locked in the boxes. Her situation is most dire. Can you let me out now, Ruby? I'm not liking this. Don't worry. We're working on getting the lock combination, Iris. Will Skullboy remember the combination and save Iris? Will Iris's upper torso and lower limbs be reunited? Can Skullboy's amnesia be cured? Will Poe get lunch anytime soon? I'm sorry, couldn't resist. This will make you feel better, Skullboy. My chicken soup cures anything that ails. Oh! I love the way these long white things intermingle with the tiny green balls. You mean the noodles and peas? Stand back! My great, great, great aunt's cure all is bound to cure all. <laughs> oh, that's the worst! What's in that thing? Brahmi body with a hint of Mauritanian camel's milk. Do you remember anything? No. Uh, oh, but my stomach aches. Yeah, I thought a nice slideshow might tweak Skullboy's memory. Great idea, Poe. Photos will remind Skullboy of all the happy times we've shared together. This was at Skullboy's birthday last year. He was a bit winded, but luckily I was there to make quick work of those pesky candles. And this one from Ruby's May Day dinner. Skullboy enjoyed my tomato aspic salad, if my memory serves. Wait! 
Now I remember! The lock combination? No, that I am not that partial to slideshows. I want to do it, Frank. I never get to do anything fun. What are you talking about? I let you take out the garbage this morning, didn't I? Sheesh. Just because you say it's fun doesn't make it fun, Frank. Guys, what's with the drumsticks? We're gonna bonk Skullboy into remembering. Are you sure that's a good idea? Yeah, we read it in a magazine. It's the perfect way to reverse amnesia. It was more like a leaflet. Leaflet, brochure, whatever. The trick in a magazine. Okay, Len. It doesn't matter where we read it. The trick is finding a head bonking device that has the precise amount of cranial bonk pressure. So we just have to apply enough bonk pressure. I'll test it first. Ouch! Ow! Quit it, Frank! Ow. No! You quit it! Oh, I just have to face facts. Ow. I may never Ouch. get my memory back. Ow. Don't give up hope, Skullboy. Ow. You'll get it back. Ow. Get what back? Ow. What will become of Skullboy? Will Iris ever be free? And will Poe ever get lunch? Sorry, I can practice my organ later. Oh, hello. Have we met? We have to help Skullboy remember who he is before he introduces himself to any more mirrors. <laughs> Was it me? Welcome back to our show. Portia recalled a moment in her childhood when things went badly. Oh, hello there. Tis a shame that real life is not like our beloved soap. Then we could simply flash back on the events of Skullboy's life. That's it, Poe. It is? Flashbacks work on film, but we can't exactly flash back the events of Skullboy's life. So we'll reenact them. <gasps> We've been listening to the soap opera for months. We're practically acting pros. I know. We shall call our radio play A Day in the Life of Skullboy. Uh, if you please. Misery, you're in charge of the organ. <laughs> been practicing my funeral dirge. Great. Scaredy, you handle sound. Okay. Ah! I am fine. And Poe, you can be our narrator. Yes. And as the director, I guess I'll do everything else. A day in the life of Skullboy. Scene one, take one. Will Skullboy remember the day he thought he was descended from the great Italian painter, Michelangelo? Will Skullboy even remember where Italy is? And action! Hmm. I have finally discovered I'm a descendant of the great painter, Michelangelo. I must be an artist. It's seen in my bones. Why are you Skull Boy? I thought I was supposed to be Skull Boy. Uh, no. You're, uh, actually my assistant. I can't work like this. I quit! Great. 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 I take it Great. this little reminder of who you are isn't helping. It is making me glad I'm not a twin. A day in the life of Skull Boy. Scene two, take one. Okay, Iris, are you ready? Anything to take my mind off being stuck in this box. Places, everyone! And action! <laughs> Will Skullboy remember the time Iris shot him out of a cannon? <laughs> oh, that must have hurt. As Skullboy, I must protest. Do not shoot me out of this cannon! Would someone think of the children? Cut! Cut. May I? Sure. What are you doing? I thought the scene called for a little ad living. Well, just stick to your lines and action! Is that supposed to be me in that box? It was the time Iris shot you out of the cannon. Don't you remember? Nope. I had to fish your ribs out of the rain gutters for weeks. Maybe this wasn't the best choice of reenactments. 
Hmm. I know what we need. Some hot chocolate. Can I have extra marshmallows on mine, Ruby? Oh! I wanted extra marshmallows, Frank! You both can have extra marshmallows. All right! You said it. Okay, let's <laughs> Killer. be good. Killer! Thanks, Ruby. Uh-oh. Um, could someone let me out of here now? Hello? Anyone? Thanks for helping me today, uh... Ruby. Right, Ruby. Ah, oh, it's hopeless. I'm never gonna remember who I am. Or the lock combination to free Iris. Right. Try not to think about it for a bit and you'll eventually remember. You know what they say? Mm -mm. A watched pot of milk never boils. <sighs> oh, no offense, but this is the worst hot chocolate you've ever made. I can't believe you just said that. Sorry, Ruby. Guess I forgot my manners for a second. No, you said it was the worst hot chocolate I've ever made, which means you remember that I make hot chocolate. Yeah, and usually you put chocolate in it. Skullboy, you're remembering. Hey, you're right. I am remembering. I remember making this. It's of Poe, merrily skipping through the forest. Did you have to have me skipping? I don't actually skip. <laughs> I, I am a great sculptor. Fantastic, Skullboy. What else do you remember? Hmm. are my latest invention, silent shoes, so no one can hear you coming. Okay, so I'm not a great inventor, but at least I remember that, too. I am most relieved that you remember now, Skullboy. It was probably the rosemary in my great-great-grandmother's amnesiac bath. You smell lovely. I had forgotten how good it was until I took a bath and remembered. <sighs> I'm just glad things are finally back to normal. Ahem. Can someone please let me out? Sorry, Iris. Skullboy, can you do us the honors? Uh, just remind me, why is Iris locked in that box again? <laughs> yes! Golden! You don't remember? I'm drawing a blank. Oh, it must be because it was near the time of the accident. Often people do not remember. I guess that means you don't remember the lock combo. The what? Oh, no. I'm gonna live the rest of my life in a pair of boxes. Don't panic, Iris. They do have wheels. Ah! Cut it out! I'll do it! No, it's my turn! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> <gasps> Come on, Skullboy, wake up! Skullboy, are you okay? What are you guys doing on the floor? Uh-oh. Okay, everyone, you know what to do. Let's get the radio play going again. I'll be the director this time. Guess you couldn't get me out of here somehow, huh, Skullboy? Sure. Let's see, 24, 32, 14. Come back! He remembered the lock combo! And 338. Houdini's birthday of March 28th, and then the year of Houdini's birth, which of course is 1874. This is the longest combination I've ever seen. Aha! I'm free! Free at last! Ooh! Ugh. Oh, it feels so good to stretch! You've been locked in there all day, Iris. Anything you want to do, just name it. Let's do it again! That was fun. Come on, what are you waiting for? So, how did Skullboy really remember who he was? Was it Misery's herbs or Frank and Len's cranial bonking? Or the herbs and the bonking in combination? More importantly, was it a magazine or a leaflet that Frank was reading? 
or a leaflet in a magazine. Tune in next time to get these answers and ask more questions. <laughs> hey, the lights just went out. Hello? Is this mic on? I wasn't finished. Acting lessons with Frank and me. Yeah, you're supposed to say your name? Your name. Okay, never mind. I like the way Skullboy makes his pain real. Yeah, I think so. Huh, yeah. Even my head hurts. You know, I just don't buy Doom's performance here. Dial it down a little. Oh! Ouchie. <laughs> I wonder how Skullboy made his performance so convincing. I really believed he was knocked out. Here, I'll show you. No, no, no. I'm good. Join us next week when we review Gone Went the Wind. Uh, if it's gone, how can we review it? <sighs>